Filters let you hide data that you don't want to see. You'll be able to get that data back once you turn your filter off. So let's say for this data here that we only want to see our sixth graders. So I'm going to highlight these columns and I'm going to come over to the filter shortcut here and just left click on create a filter. Notice what this did now across my header row you see these three little filter lines. So now I'm going to come here to grade and you'll notice that down here at the bottom I have the filter by values. I have blanks, 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. So I'm going to actually clear all, so that would take away all my data, and I'm going to check that I just want to see 6th graders, and click OK. Now you can see what this did is it removed all the 7th and 8th grade students. If I want all my data back, I can come back to this filter, and I can select all. You can also filter by condition. So let's look at these test scores. We have 18 students on here. I only want to see students who scored 70% and higher. So I'm going to click on my filter. I'm going to choose to filter by condition. Click on the drop down here. Scroll down to greater than or equal to. And I'm going to type in 70. You can also type in more advanced formulas here, but we're going to stick with something simple. 70. Then I'm going to scroll to the bottom and click on OK. Now this shows me only students who scored higher than 70 on this test. When you create a filter, anyone who has view rights to your spreadsheet can see this filter view. Anyone with edit rights can make changes to the filter view. When you want to turn your filter off, you can just come up to the icon again, left click on it, and you'll watch it takes away those filter icons across the top row, and all of my content is back. You can also find filter underneath the data to create a filter and you see filter views which is different and we will cover that in another tutorial.